Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. That book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. Revelio. Rebellion. Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration. Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz. Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz, just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Ah, oh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid! Just a few questions and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? The Snake Bird. No. Incorrect. The answer was the Golden Snidget. The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? Felix Felicis. Well done. Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix 
Feliciis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical art... The Deathly Hallows. Correct. According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? The Quaffle. That's right. When a chaser throws the Quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded ten points. True or false? Polyjuice Potion allows the drinker to change species. True. Actually, the answer was false. While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. I I'm sorry. I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you change your mind. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Revelio ought to make quick work of this. Revelio! Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. Revelio. Don't blame her. I'm hopeless at flying. You're not hopeless. Revelio.
I heard, Professor Weasley transfigured the book with all her test answers into an owl to stop students from cheating. Taking owls a bit too literally, if you ask me. Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Beautifully done. Class is dismissed. And remember, now is not the time to ease off your studying. OWLs will be here before you know it. Revelio. Revelio. Alohomora. Revelio. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed, and frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year.
Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making excellent use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. Deke tells me you captured a unicorn and brought it back to the room of requirement. Protecting so rare a beast is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumours of your extracurricular activities. Was your visit to the kitchens and the Hogsmeade graveyard with Nick to bribe a ghost for information connected in any way to Professor Fig? Professor Fig has encouraged me to explore when I can in uh, an effort to complete my field guide. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. If you wish to practice the spell you just learned, the training dummy is available. Revelio. Something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. I remember our meat mentioning something about gobbledygook.
Hmm. Hmm. what survives the rain of this is. Do you think anyone has found everything for a passage in Hong Kong? Rebellion. Levioso and stupefied combined should be never put in the hands. in the hand, I don't know what it is. Like it's pretty though. Mm -hmm. Only a hairy hearted sod could cast the pendo on a cow. Mm -hmm. Not saying I don't have to be in jail when no one's looking. Don't be the 
If it thinks it's got half a chance, a werewolf would be on you like a little bit of a Spare a blood, a single, a galleon. Ourselves are Wizardkind's best friend. Always have been. Those that go to Azkaban never had a chance. Come now, don't be stingy. You can stop a thief in their tracks with stupefy. Spare a blood, a sickle, a galleon. Can't imagine how muggles get by without magic. Anne is getting worse. If there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the Catacomb. New instruments are expensive, you know. In. Let me know if you need help finding anything. You have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Revelio. Rebellion.
Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio. Rebellion. Rebellion.
Incendium. Confirm them. Akio. Protego. Levioso. <laughs> Levioso! Descendo! Bombarda! Akio! Rebellion. Rebellion. Rebellion.
mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? You're here. Good. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned... I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. Revelio. I'm sure that foul smell Lumos. is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. At least now we know we're not alone in here. Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the tomb will be insect free. Yeah, spiders aren't insects. Don't Confringo. start. Here. Opening all of these is tempting. We're here for a reason. Revelio. Right, so opening them all is justified. Wingardium Leviosa. This room is taller than it looks. Leviosa. Finding a chest. Rebellious. He was locked. Brilliant. Uh. Accio. Watch your step. I nearly slipped there. Revelio. Confringo. 
Confirm them. All this grass. It no longer feels like a tomb. Revelio. I've read about catacombs that underwent expansion efforts and ran into problems, often cave-ins, and then were abandoned. Exactly. We'll be fine, though. Confringo! Revelio. Revelio. Rebellion. Now this is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Lovely. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. Revelio. Incendio. Confringo. We've made it this far, but clearly we have more to do. Revelio. Revelio Lumos Accio Lumos
Lumos. Revelio. Accio. Rebellion. <coughs> Lumos. Akio. Repair all. Accio. Udani and Leviosa. Rickety bone bridge complete. Capulso. Rebellion. There's something here by the altar. What did you find? Revelio. Repairer. Revelio. We're in a tomb. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. Accio! Rebellion. Accio. Rebellion. Can 
Revelio. Accio. Indani and Leviosa. Accio. Indani and Leviosa. Revelio. Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student summary referenced the space beyond the Great Room, which means this can't be a dead end. I have the report if you want to have a look. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. I'd be interested to know what else the student discovered. Have a look. Unfortunately, there's no name on it. But I surmise if it was important enough for Slytherin to stash in his spellbook, it's worthy of further study. Do you think the pages were left here on purpose? Slytherin mentioned a student who excelled in charms and always carried a satchel stuffed full of notes. They might have been left on purpose, or the student may have simply dropped them. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant.
There's more to this than even I imagined. Look, bones stacked oddly on either side of this archway. Hmm. Leave no stone unturned. Or in this case, no bone. You've done it! Revelio! I knew we'd get through. I felt it in my bones. Nice. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. Where did you learn the Imperious Curse? I taught myself. Don't tell Ominous that I've told you. It's not exactly something I can brag about, but it may come in handy. I think you ought to know it. Shouldn't I know more about what the curse entails? Remember the blasting curse? Same idea, except when it comes to unforgivable curses, your intention has to be clear. You have to mean it. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard.
Revelio. Incendio. Rebellio. Confringo. Bombarda. Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. <laughs> how gracious of you. I try. Confirm them! Hmm. This looks different than what we faced earlier. Now we're also dealing with wound symbols. Mess. Bit dramatic, isn't it? Rebellion. Confringo. Revelio. Perhaps we need to pull the handles in the order of the symbols on the tablets. This catacomb Revelio. is okay. Just as the student summary described. I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time. Rebellion. Incendio. Rebellion. Capulso. Perhaps we need to pull the handles in the order of the symbols on the tablets. Revelio.
going. Revelio Accio Confirm Accio Rebellion. Revelio, you are head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. It never end. Rebellion. Dead end. Lovely. All that for nothing. Hold on. Don't give up yet. Revelio. Accio. Sebastian, the relic! Look! Could it be? Revelio. The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. 
What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea, but we're here for the relic. I'm willing to ignore what the journal entry says. We're taking the relic. Agreed. This is meant to be. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. I must keep this relic secret, especially from my uncle. Revelio! Is that ominous? Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. I can't believe this. Revelio. How much did you hear? Everything. I heard you encourage Sebastian to take the relic. Sebastian's done his research. He knows what he's doing. Sebastian makes things sound easy when they could be impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. Sebastian's right. We need that relic. I'm sorry. My mind is made up. Are you willing to sacrifice your friendship over this? I might be. How could I choose to stand by and watch him do this? What if the choice wasn't yours? You wouldn't be to blame for what happens. What in the world are you suggesting? Imperium? Now that you say it out loud, it sounds absurd. But... I have another idea. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not, Ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. I hope I don't regret this. Sebastian! We're ready. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way. Come on. Revelio! Well, what happened back there? Ominous and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment with you and he'll change his mind. Is that it? I told him we ought to give you this chance, that the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to it than that. Tell me. We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. I never wanted to keep all this from Ominous. He just doesn't understand. And I did want to worry him all over again.
Revelio. As we were leaving, Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's not like him. He was troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot to take in. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important for Anne. When we get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. Akio! Potato! Stupid! No! Stupid! No, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke, over there, by the hamlet. Revelio. Feldkoff's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry. Your spells glance off of me. I won't rest. Let's get it. Keep out of short reach. No!
What have you done? Saved my sister. With an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. <laughs> what did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. You did what you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. Revelio. Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Why, Sebastian? Revelio. Confringo. Revelio. Uh. 